If something is a one-time price increase, then you don't react to it with monetary policy because, you know, frankly, the way monetary policy works would be by slowing down the, the economy, slowing down the recovery, and therefore reducing inflationary pressure. So you wouldn't react to something that is likely to go away. Uh, so, so we have to look at this current situation where we have a number of categories of goods and services where inflation is moving up, as I, as I mentioned, higher and, and, uh, than we expected and a little bit more persistent than we had expected and hoped. But we look at them and we look at the story and you know, the story with you mentioned around used cars and, uh, and new cars and rental cars, is all, it's all kind of the same story. It's, there's a shortage of, of semiconductors. There's also very high demand for various reasons. People are using less public transportation. They have money because they haven't been able to spend. Um, and you know, it's just a perfect storm of high demand and, and low supply. And it should pass and, unless we think there's going to be a, a multi-year, many-year shortage of used cars in the United States. We should look at this as as temporary, and we we've, we very much think that it is. And so do I, all the forecasters I've seen think that these price increases for used cars and new car, new cars will they'll they'll top out, and then in all likelihood at some point in the future, and we can't say exactly when, they'll decline and, uh, because the play will come back.